Paul Borker. I'm the Director of Product Management, Marketing, and Business Development for Cadence 10 Silica. If you're not familiar with Cadence 10 Silica, we're a leading provider of semiconductor IP, and we specialize in various market segments. We have IPs that cover uh, vision, radar processing, audio, and our newest uh, AI accelerators. So today I'd like to show you some customer demos which have implemented our IP into their end solution. So here's an example from MediaTek, one of our semiconductor customers. Uh, this particular demonstration is on their MediaTek Genio 500, previously known as the i500. So in this SOC, they have uh, two instances of our Vision P6 DSP as part of their APU, which is their AI processing unit. So on this AI processing unit, they're able to run a variety of different neural networks, the ones which most people are very familiar with today. But in this particular example, we're running uh, two specific AI networks to do people detection. So as part of this demonstration over here, we're basically running the first network for object detection to identify where the person is. This network is implemented using mobile net SSD based object detection, followed by open pose to identify the person's pose. Uh, so in the particular example that you see over here, you will basically see uh, a skeletal model of an object object uh, of the person being overlaid on the camera that is being captured, that is capturing the scene. This is the first demonstration of uh, our customer implemented product. Another example over here is from one of our customer partners called LabForge. They're a Canada-based company and they specialize in industrial automation-based solutions. So here we have uh, our Vision P6 DSP en encompassed inside the SOC, inside this rugged uh, industrial certified chassis, which is used as mentioned for industrial automation and inspection applications. So in here, this particular example, we are doing, uh, they are doing a very unique solution, which is large image language models. So unlike the traditional large language models, which is text-based or audio-based, here we are feeding in image data, and we're specifying that the text prompts that could be present in the scene are a ballpoint pen, a computer mouse, or a phone. And basically, the, the, the demonstration or the application is telling you the level of confidence of the objects that are present in the scene. So you can see that in the, in the captured image, we have an orange pen, and we have a mouse. And you can see that the computer mouse is with a high confidence level, along with a ballpoint pen, which is also showing another confidence level. So these are just some of the very uh, uh, few examples, uh, but the Vision DSPs and the Tensilica IPs can be used for a variety of different applications, and the list of applications is constantly growing. So if you'd like to learn more about us, please visit us at ip.cadence.com. Thank you.